lecture 42 multiple integral in that lecture i explain you the triple integral triple integration or triple integral let v be the region of the three dimensional space and let if we suppose of take a function of x y z here the x y z are independent variable and define at every point of that particular region v then the triple integration is denoted by triple integral f x y z dx dy dz so that is represented by the volume also here you have to notice that if the limit of x y z are constant then the order of integration doesn't matter means either you take the integration with respect to x then y then z or you are taking the first you take the integration with respect to y then x or then z so if the limits of the uh, integrations if the limit of x y z are constant then the integration order of integration doesn't matter but if the limit of integration is like such x is a function of y z and the limit of y is a function of z and z has a constant limit then you follow the order first you take the integration with respect to x then you take the integration with respect to y and then with respect to z because the limit of x in the terms of y z the limit of y in the terms of z and the limit of z is constant so now take an example you have to evaluate the integral that is a triple integral 1 to 2 2 to 3 1 to 1 8 x y z d z dx dy so first we have to notice the order of integration here first we have to integrate with respect to z then x then y and the limit of the integration all the limit of integrations are constant so here the limit of z is what 1 to 2 as according to the order of integration and with uh, the limit of x is what 2 to 3 the limit of y is what 1 to 2 so first we have to integrate with respect to z so we write 1 to 2 2 to 3 and we take the integration with respect to z so treating x and y as a constant so we write 8 x y z square by 2 so we write 4 x y z square and apply the limit on z square that is 0 to 1 dx dy now when you apply the limit we get 1 so the remaining integral is 1 to 2 2 to 3 4 x y dx dy now we take the integration with respect to x and what is the integration of 4 x square 4 x y we get 4 y x square by 2 that is it become 1 to 2 2 uh, right y x square and apply the limit 2 to 3 dy so we get 1 to 2 we can also write 2 and apply the limit y uh, x square that is 9 minus 4 dy so we get 1 to 2 and 9 minus 4 that is 5 10 y dy and on integration of 10 y we get 10 y square by 2 1 to 2 so we get 4 by 2 and minus 1 by 2 we get 3 by 2 that is we get 15 so the value of that integral is we get 15 so here you have to notice the order of integration is according to the limit of integration so we take one more example in that we have to evaluate the integral triple integral but the limit of integrations are not all are not constant here 0 to 1 with 0 to root 1 minus x square 0 to under root 1 minus x square minus y square and the function is 1 upon root 1 minus x square minus y square minus z square dz dy dx so when you see the integral like this so first you have to source the limit of integration that is here the limit 0 to 
वन माइनस एक्स स्क्वायर माइनस वाई स्क्वायर सो दैट इज वॉट दैट इज अ फंक्शन ऑफ एक्स एंड वाई सो वी कैन से दैट्स अ लिमिट ऑफ जेड एंड द सेकेंड वन दिस वन हेयर दिस लिमिट रूट वन माइनस एक्स स्क्वायर सो दिस द लिमिट ऑफ वॉट वाई एंड द लिमिट सो दैट्स अ लिमिट ऑफ जेड दिस अ लिमिट ऑफ वाई देन डेफिनेटली दैट्स अ लिमिट ऑफ x so here first you integrate with respect to z then with respect to y and then with respect to x so start first we take the integration with respect to z here so we write 0 to 1 0 2 root 1 minus x square and we take the integration with respect to z treating x and z x and y is a constant so most of the integration of that that's in constant part and 1 upon root 1 minus z square we write sin inverse z upon root 1 minus x square minus y square So we apply the limits zero to root one minus x square minus y square t y t x. When you apply the limit here, so we get sine inverse one minus sine inverse zero. So what we get zero to one zero to root one minus x square, and we get sine inverse one that is. Pi by two minus zero. So we get dy dx. Now take the integration with respect to y. So we get zero to one. Pi by two is a constant. So we write pi by two y. Apply the limit zero to one minus x square root one minus x square dx. Here we get zero to one. Sorry, we write. Pi by two outside the integral. That's a constant term. And root one minus x square dx. And the integration of root a minus x square. So we write what is the integration of that? That is, we write x root one minus x square by two. Plus one by two sine inverse x limit zero to one. So when you apply the limit zero to one, we get here pi by two is outside. We get pi by four. So that's we get pi square by eight. Now we take an example. Here we have to evaluate. A triple integral 2x plus y dx t by t z, and on the region V, where V is a closed region bounded by a cylinder, and the plane x equal to zero, y equal to zero, y equal to two, and z equal to zero. So here, first we plot that particular region. So it is easy to find the limit when you see the when you see that graph. So here. As you see, z is equal to 4 minus x square. So that is uh, that's in surface. Z is equal to 4 minus x square. Mm -hmm. And the plane, as you know, x equal to 0. So that's in plane. X equal to 0. That's a plane. And y equal to 0. So means here y equal to 0 is that plane. And Z equal to zero is that x y plane, and when we say y equal to two, so somewhere the line that line y equal to two, so the region V is what is in the first quadrant. So in that region we have to evaluate that particular integral. Now first we find that uh, that points. That's an interesting point. As you know, here z is equal to zero. When we put in that equation, z equal to zero, so we get x equal to two. 
that is plus minus 2 means that's a point uh, x is equal to 2 and similarly we find that point if we put x equal to 0 on that plane so we get z is equal to 2 and that's an that's a point y equal to 2 so the coordinates are 0 0 0 2 0 and that's in 2 0 0 and that's in 0 0 4 and similarly you also easily you can write the coordinate of t that is 2 2 0 and the coordinate of p is 0 2 4 now here the region v is what is we write if we say that's an origin o a b c d e so in that region you have to evaluate that integral so first we write the limit of integrations that is the z first we take a z suppose here if we take a small part of that region so z we can say z varies from 0 to what on that surface and the equation of that surface is what 4 minus x square so we say z is varies 0 to 4 minus x square right now then what's in where the y y varies from 0 to that line that is y is varies 0 to 2 and similarly x varies 0 to 2 so the integral the limit of integration is 0 to 2 we write 0 to 2 and 0 to 4 minus x square 2x plus y first we take the integration with respect to z then you can take the integration with respect to y and then x so here first we take the integration with respect to z because the limit of integration of z is what in the function of x so now when you take the integration you write 0 to 2 0 to 2 when you take the integration with respect to z treating x and y as a constant so we get what only z apply the limit 0 to 4 minus x so you write 2x plus y and 0 minus that is 4 minus x square ty dx on simplify you get 0 to 2 0 to 2 and when you multiply 2x into 4 uh, so I write it what that is 8x minus 2x cube plus 4y minus x square y dy dx now we take the integration with respect to y you also take the integration with respect to x first because the both the limit are constant here so we take the integration with respect to y we write 8 x y 2 x cube y plus 4 y square by 2 I write 2 y square minus x square y square by 2 apply the limit 0 to 2 dx so we get 0 to 2 and we get 16 x minus 4 x cube plus 8 minus 2 x square now take the integration with respect to x and apply the limit so you get when you take the integration we get 8 x square that is an x square by 2 we get 8 x minus that's an x 4 by 4 so 4 will be cancelled we write minus x power 4 similarly 8 x and minus 2 by 3 x cube you apply the limit 0 to 2 so what you get we get 32 minus 16 plus 16 and 2 by 3 uh, 16 by we get 3 so on solving that we get 80 by 3 
so that's the value of that integral in that particular region so in this way you can evaluate the integral in the particular region so whenever you take the uh, whenever you take you are doing the triple integral please take care the order of integration in that order how you take the limits if the limit of z in the form of x y so first you take the integration with respect to z then see the limit of y and then see the limit of x in that case we also uh, in on that step we also take the integration first with respect to x then y 